Coach Buckley. Uh, you got to come to beautiful Indiana, Pennsylvania. Way better water than there is in Slough. <laughs> Would you agree? Uh, it's nice here. It's raining out right now. It's about 40 degrees. What's the weather in uh, San Luis Obispo right now? Um, it's probably in the 70s. 70s and yeah. sunny? Yeah. Times 350. Roughly? Days a year of sun? Yeah, 350. A lot. Yeah? It's a lot. You lose track? Yeah, but we we uh, we needed some rain. It was we, California's been a little bit of a drought, so it's it's, uh, it's good to get some get some rain. Do you like coming to the Midwest and, and getting getting bogged down with this weather or not? I love. Well, we are on the East Coast, I would say right now, but uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 East Coast. We'll say that. But uh, no, I saw some good friends last night. Some parents of uh, a guy coached who was all American Virginia, Jim Harshaw. His folks stayed in Pittsburgh last night, and no, I love I love. Hey, wrestling, any, any place where wrestling is important, uh, I'm going to be a fan. So I love the people in Pennsylvania and Ohio and Iowa. Life's from Iowa. So, uh, no, I'm glad to be here. Okay, we're looking at this tournament. This is a very different high school tournament compared to most other, school, you know, that, are, that do folk style. How do you feel about the rule changes here and actually getting to see guys do what they're going to have to do next year? or in two years when they're on, you know, the college stage, you know, the riding time and the out-of-bounds. How do you feel about that? Good. I mean, I think if you get, if guys are going to wrestle in college, they might as well get used to the rules. So being able to simulate the rules they're going to see in, in college, it just makes sense. You know, having, I, I look at your guys' place, you know, San Luis Obispo, Cal Poly, I think it's about one of the best college towns in the country. When you get a recruit on your camp, campus, you know, if you can convince one of these kids to come and take a visit, what do you think the percentage of you guys getting them to sign with you guys is? I think it's pretty good. Yeah, I think if the logistics work out, um, admissions, and you know, it's, it's a good fit for them financially, then uh, yeah, I think we got a great shot because we've got a lot to offer. It's a, it is a very beautiful place to go to school. Um, the scenery, the surroundings, the weather, the town is great. San Luis Obispo is a great college town. We've got a great school, a nationally ranked university with great programs. Um, academically, we got kind of a cool way of learning. It's called Learn by Doing, and it's a very hands-on approach to the college experience and uh, rich wrestling history. And, uh, you know, our, our program right now, we're in a phase where we, we focus most of our time on building the foundation. So we're looking for guys who are coachable, talented, good students, and who love to work. So uh, if they possess those characteristics, then Cal Poly's a great fit. I look at your one qualifier this year, 133 pounds, Latito. He's from the Lehigh Valley. Yep. About, you know, three hours, you know, dead east of here. Looking at guys like that and just getting tough guys like that, bringing, you know, PA guys, bringing yep. Ohio guys, keeping California guys. When you can get, like, the kind of the potpourri of guys and then kind of mix them in that room, do you guys think you can, you know, put five guys at the NCAA tournament next year? Do you think, you know, if you yeah. recruit how you should? Absolutely. I mean, I'd say looking at our team, that that's our goal. I would say that's a pretty, you know, fair estimation looking at the guy. We pretty much return everybody. Um, we had a, a lot of injuries and some adversity this year, but, um, you know, hey, that's wrestling, you know, and walking into Cal Poly a few years ago, we... You know, we didn't have a lot of depth, and we had to redshirt some. I'm sorry, we had to wrestle some guys, and couldn't afford to redshirt everybody. So, uh, yeah, I mean, to get guys who are from wrestling hotbeds like Pennsylvania, uh, to keep our good kids in state, California's got fantastic wrestling. Um, but yeah, we like those blue collar guys who just love the sport and love to work. The Castle Brothers. I think that you know those guys just had some peaks and some valleys. A lot of injuries between the two Castle yeah. brothers. Two guys I had penciled in for the NCAA tournament. Didn't end up working out for them. What do you got to do to keep guys like that healthy and let, not let the grind get to them? Um, you know, a lot, I think a lot of us do it doing the little things. You know, as coaches, as wrestlers, um, making sure we're lifting year-round, making sure they're keeping their weight under control, trying to peak at the right time. Um, but, you know, it's Division One wrestling, and guys are going to face the grind. And uh, you have some seasons where it's in your favor, you have some seasons where it's not. So uh, those guys have great work ethics, and we're already back at work now. So uh, you'll feel safe to say you'll definitely be seeing those guys competing, and we expect them to be winning matches at the NCAAs. What are the chances of us seeing all of your duels, and I'm not even kidding, all of your duels outdoors? Is that something you I'm even think? Would you do it? 
I've had numerous people ask us to do that. Uh, the Oregon yeah. State one's obviously the one I'm pointing at. You know, yeah. I, I thought that was that environment to me. I watched every match. I was so impressed with the crowd reaction. Even the passer buyers who are you know yeah. not you know layman's to the sport coming by watching. Oh, what's going on here? And then you know there was some exciting matches there. 125 had some great yep. throws. Yep. But you know looking at that, do you will you guys try and do that more? Yeah, I mean I think we 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 want to define our niche and. Uh, I, Cal Poly, when people think of it, it's they're inherently going to think it's beautiful, great weather, California, the coast. So being able to feature that, um, our niche, and uh, for everybody to see it was great. Oregon State was all for it. Um, it was it was great. We you know we hear, talk a lot in wrestling about building our fan base and getting the average fan to to, to grab you know to, to grab their interest and we had a lot of people stop by who probably may not have gone to a match indoors and said hey this is cool what's going on here oh my you know my my old girl boyfriend used to wrestle or, you know my cousin wrestled and and uh, so it was great and we want to we want to continue to do that and continue to, to build our brand of Cal Poly wrestling and I think that's a great way to do it are you used to San Luis Obispo yet you know we've talked about this you went from Manhattan, being the head coach at Columbia. Yeah. Are you used to it yet? You know the slower pace and slow. Yeah, yeah. It took a little bit. It took a couple of years, but uh, you know I, I've been pretty fortunate to live in two, although completely different environments. Just it was awesome. Got to live in Manhattan, in New York City, at be at Columbia. Now on the West Coast, completely different. But uh, yeah, it took a couple of years, but we love it. Get to go hiking, get, do things on the ocean. Uh, it's a great, great, great place. Can't think of a, you know, a nicer place to go to school in the wrestle division one. Hey, Coach, hey, thanks for the time. Anything else for me on San Luis Obispo or Cal Poly? I just think, you know, guys, we, we expect to uh, have a completely different product next year, and we're here looking to find guys that want to add to that. So I uh, hope this weekend goes well and, and down the road with our recruiting.